What if I just wear it like No. <laughs> Happy New Year! If you're wondering how to succeed with your New Year's resolutions, this video is for you. If you have had a hard time in the past actually keeping your resolutions, the first thing that I recommend is don't call them resolutions. It feels like resolutions are like meant to be broken. Resolutions are those things that everybody has. They're gone by usually by the end of January, if not by like February. And resolutions feel impermanent. They feel like it's okay to like not keep them because nobody else is really keeping their resolution. So that would be step one. Second thing that I would recommend that you do is to call them something different, something that's specific to you. Some people call them intentions. Uh, some people call them commitments. Commitments are really good because that's a really strong word. Um, some people call them goals. So figure out what that word is for you, whether it's an intention for the year, whether it's a commitment that you're saying, this is what I'm gonna do, whether it's a goal and you can make it a smart goal saying that it's specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, it's relevant, and it's time bound make sure that you figure out what that word is for you. Third thing is to write down your goals. So if you do have something that you'd like to accomplish for the year, write it down. Even if it's just you posting it into a note on your phone or on Facebook or whatever it is, make it permanent. Put it into writing and say, this is what I want to achieve. Not only is it going to internalize that this is something that you want, but it's also going to be a formal declaration to the universe as well as to everyone else that's watching that this is what I want to do. So for example, when I had set some specific goals for my business, I wrote them down in a blog post on my website. And I remember thinking like, oh wow, I have to do this now because this is something that I said that I'm going to do. Now on going on to that, I want to move on to number four, which is set a goal, commitment, intention, for the things that you can control, not for the things that you can't control. So for example, instead of saying, my goal is to lose 10 pounds, say something like, my goal is to eat healthier, or my goal is to cut out sugar, or my goal is to exercise three times per week, something like that. Because honestly, like, you don't know what that result will look like until you start putting those actions into place. You can get into the habit of those actions. It's gonna be that much easier for you to reach that goal. So for example, one of my goals is to reach $250,000 for the year for business revenue. So instead of saying my goal is $250,000 for the year, I should say something like, my goal is to reach this many more people or my goal is to gain this many more subscribers. So I've gotta be a little bit more specific on the actions that I'm gonna take, saying something like, I'm gonna host this many live streams, I'm gonna do this many videos, I'm gonna talk to this many people, I'm gonna connect with these people. I've gotta be specific on the actions that I know are gonna lead me to that ultimate goal instead of saying I'm going to just do this one thing like based on a number. Okay, so I think that's probably the one place that that, um, resolutions kind of trip us up or like smart goals trip us up because if you say something like um, my goal is to lose 10 pounds or my goal is to gain 10 pounds uh, of muscle or whatever it is you're trying to gain um, my goal is to um, meet the love of my life my goal is to like whatever it is that you know that you you can't really have a specific impact on because if you could you would have already done it Instead, make a goal to take the actions that are required in order to get you there. And if you're not sure what those actions are that are required to get you there, well, that's essentially where a coach comes in, where a coach can say, hey, I know that if you wanna hit $250,000 for the year, these are the actions that you have to take. You follow what they tell you to do, you do it, and then you, know, you hit that goal. Or you go to someone who says, you wanna lose um, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, or gain 10 pounds, 20 pounds. This is what's realistic based on where you are right now. This is what's realistic based on the time frame. This is the actions. Um, these are the actions that we're gonna do this to accomplish, to try to get there. It makes it that much easier when you can kind of borrow the confidence from that coach. And this is something that I do. I mean, I hire coaches in all areas of my life. And the main area where I've hired coaches in the past has been in business. But obviously I have a coach for fitness as well um, for, for doing CrossFit and someone who can tell me, Hey, I know that one of your goals is to lift heavier and to get more weight on the squat that you can do. Well, right now, the issue that's holding you back is that 
you know, your hamstrings are not that strong. So these are the exercises that you need to do. Instead of me saying, I wanna squat 200 pounds, I have to say I'm willing to go in and work on my hamstrings, something like that. So these are the best ways that I've discovered that will make your New Year's resolution stick. Are there any other ways that you've thought of that you are able to help and make those New Year's resolutions stick? Do you use like a planner or something like that? Or do you enlist the help of friends? What are the things that you do? I would love to hear from you. Leave your comments in the box below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and watch the video where I talk about my 2019 goals because I'll tell you a little bit more about some of the goals that I would like to do and how I'm planning to get there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.